हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर फंडा फ्री एजुकेशन रेवल्यूशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग न्यू टॉपिक हियर आई वांट टू से दैट वी आर डिलीवरिंग फ्री एजुकेशन फॉर यू गाइस सो प्लीज स्प्रेड द वर्ड अमंग योर फ्रेंड्स and share for those people who cannot afford coaching and you know that learning is priceless so please do at least and if you want any specific topic video then please do comment on our facebook channel which is www.facebook.com current affairs funda caf and please friends if you like our video then subscribe to our youtube channel because whenever you are uh, subscribe our channel then whenever we upload any new video then you will be directly notified by our channel so if you like our channel then please subscribe it now we are going to proceed to our topic so our today's topic is memory primary storage which is also called main memory we are going throughout this lecture that what is primary storage and what is their characteristic advantages disadvantages and how many types of primary storage available in your computer so now we are going to start so primary memory is also called as a memory main memory primary memory kya kehlati hai aapki main memory bhi kehlati hai so primary memory holds only those data and instruction on which computer is currently working so what primary primary memory holds it's only store that one data and instruction which your computers need it currently for their work okay and it has limited capacity it is not very large in size jo aapki primary memory hoti hai wo bahut large size ki nahi hoti hai so it is a it is limited in capacity and data is lost and your data is lost when power is switched off so the data whatever the data in your primary memory main memory is not for life long okay when the your computer gets switched off then your data is also get lost okay it is generally made up of semiconductor please note down that which device while using which device your primary memory is made up okay so the answer will be semiconductor device so your primary memory is constructed using semiconductor device these memories are not as fast as register i already told you that register is the fastest device after that your cache memory come and after that main memory why so i already told you that register is a very less space to find out anything in a register it is very easy and very quickly and to find out any data in a cache memory will take a little bit more time than register but it will be also find it very quickly but in main memory it will be take more time than register and cache memory so here it is also mentioned that these memory are not as fast as register the data and instructions required to be processed reside in memory what it means that whatever the data and instruction required by your processor is always re uh, reside in your main memory because register and cache memory is not enough ha has not enough space to hold up whole program so the main memory there required and main memory most of all instruction and data which is used by a computer is always there and whenever any data or instruction computer your processor need then that one be data will be fetched out by cache memory and then to your register okay it divided into two sub categories ram and rom so what it does mean that your primary memory has two category which is called ram and rom please friends if you have went go through my first lecture which is processor and memory then please i request you to 
those people who didn't seen that one uh, video please go through that video only after that you will be able that what is register or what it what is cache memory and why it is it has a lesser space and why it has it has a so uh, it is uh, it is faster device i already explained it it in, in the previous my lecture so please if any person who didn't seen my last video which is prime uh, processor and memory then please go through that one video and after that please watch this one video then you will be uh, the points will be more clearly uh, explained to you okay so now i am coming to the characteristics of main memory what is the characteristics of main memory these are semiconductor device actually whatever the i have already told you in my lecture it is also a characteristics uh, your characteristics so first one is your this that it is a semiconductor memories next one is it is known as main memory primary memory also called as main memory usually volatile in nature volatile volatile means it is um the data whatever it has it will go out okay in hindi what is the meaning of volatile nash wan okay nash wan kyunki iske andar jo bhi data hota hai wo permanent nahi hota that is why we called our primary memory as a volatile memory now going to our next slide here also there are some characteristics next characteristic data is lost in case power is switched off whenever your power gets switched off your data get lost okay it is working memory working memory hai kyunki whenever your processor is going to work it always need register cache and main memory okay so it is a working memory if you are not going to attach any secondary memory it will be okay for the processor but it always need a main memory for the work okay that is why main memory called as a working memory it is faster than secondary memory already told that it is uh, it is slower than register and cache but it is faster than secondary memory a uh, computer cannot run without primary memory your computer cannot run without uh, primary primary memory so registers cache and main memory these three memories always required for a processor to work or to perform their work okay now we already uh, told you that your primary memory is divided into ram and rom so we are now coming here that ram what is the full form of ram please note down that full form of ram is random access memory what does it be that you can access any data randomly from the memory this is your main memory oh sorry this is your memory i already told you it is divided into cells and data will be available any one of its cell so in primary memory data can be accessed accessed randomly randomly means kahin se bhi kahin se bhi kuch bhi nikal sakta hai data chahe wo yahan par hai aapka yahan par hai yahan par hai it can randomly access any data from your memory it is never access your data in a sequential way okay ki first ye lega fir ye lega fir next one fir next one aisa nahi hai it can access any from anywhere a data okay now we are going what is the ram ram stands for random access memory is the internal memory of the cpu what it is it is a internal memory why we are calling it internal memory because it is always inbuilt in your computer okay you never ever buy a ram and attached it okay whenever you purchase a computer or laptop it always there in your laptop or computer that is why it is called a internal memory of the cpu for storing data program and program result kya kya wo store kar sakta hai data koi bhi aapka program aur us program se jo bhi aapka result produce hoga wo result okay it is read write memory okay it can be read it can be write okay in ram you can anything read on it uh, from it sorry and you can anything write on it okay which stores data until the machine is working so it can store any one data until your machine is working means your 
power is switched on okay your computer is switched on otherwise it will be lost whatever the data it has it will be lost as soon as the machine is switched off data is erased jaise hi aapki machine switched off hoti your data get erased access time in ram is independent i already told you it can access any data from anywhere so access time kya hota hai what is the access time the time we will take to access our data is called a access time okay so it is independent it is not dependent that yahan se agar kuch data if it wants to access any data from here or from here it will take a any other time it will take a same time so that access time is independent of the address that is each storage location means har jo storage location hai inside the memory is as easy to reach as other location ek kisi bhi location mein pahunchna easy hota hai ram mein and takes the same amount of time so it will take the same amount of time so it will it has no different access time to read any data from different location okay data in the ram can be accessed randomly aap apna data access kar sakte hain randomly कहीं से भी बट इट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव बट योर रैम इज एक्सपेंसिव ओके सबसे चीपेस्ट होती है सेकेंडरी मेमोरी वॉट इट इज मीन दैट योर सेकेंडरी मेमोरी इज ऑलवेज अ चीपेस्ट वन ओके रैम इज वॉलेटाइल आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉलेटाइल वॉलेटाइल मीन्स नाशवान ओके सो रैम इज अ वॉलेटाइल इन नेचर दैट इज डेटा स्टोर्ड इन इट लॉस्ट वेन वी स्विस्ट ऑफ द computer so many times the question is come that ram is volatile or non volatile if you know the procedure working procedure of ram then you will definitely select the correct one option that your ram is a volatile in nature or if there is a power failure ya to aap apna computer band kar dete hain or there is a power failure hence a backup un uh, interruptible power system which is called ups okay every computer most of the in the desktop there is always a ups connected to it to it because whenever a power is gone your ups will keep on your computer for some time till then you can save your data and save it into your secondary memory okay often used with computer theek hai aapko maine bata diya hai ki iske liye aap kya use karte hain ups to uh, is often used with computer ram is small in size both in terms of its physical size and in the amount of data it can hold means your ram always uh, is a is small in size that is why it can hold only a small data okay not a very big one data if it you want to store a big data then it will is store some data and after that finished uh processor finish their work then it will store the uh next data which is uh, which is all uh, stored in your secondary memory okay ram is of two type your ram is of two type which is called static ram and dynamic ram okay now we are going to see the categories of ram which has two static ram and dynamic ram which is called s ram okay so in sram the word static indicates that the memory retains its constants as long as the power is being supplied jab tak aapki power supplied hoti rehti hai tab tak hi data iske andar rehta hai however data is lost when the power get down due to volatile nature और जैसे जैसे ही आपका पावर गेट डाउन मतलब कि पावर चला जाता है डेटा क्या हो जाता है लॉस्ट हो जाता है क्यों क्योंकि स्टैटिक रैम इज आल्सो अ वॉलेटाइल इन नेचर ओके एस रैम चीप चिप्स यूज अ मैट्रिक्स ऑफ सिक्स ट्रांजिस्टर प्लीज नोट डाउन दैट एस रैम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड विथ विच डिवाइस इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड विथ सिक्स ट्रांजिस्टर एंड नो कैपेसिटर देर इज नो कैपेसिटर्स there is six transistors are used to construct a static ram transistors do not require power to prevent leakages your transistor do not require power to prevent leakages so sram need not have to be refreshed on a regular basis actually there is a refreshing method is used 
because if there is a problem of power so in a, some nanosecond of time your chip can't refresh so that the data can be retained there till the your computer is on okay so there is no uh, power uh, power leakage so there is no need to refresh it this is the main characteristic of sram that cap, uh, your static ram is not used never never uh, do refreshing okay because of the extra space in the matrix sram uses more chip than dram but in your sram it use more chips than dram which will dram which will you uh, study in, in the next slide for the same amount of storage space means a uh, same amount of storage means same amount of data you are going to store in dram and sram then sram will take more chips than dram okay thus making the manufacturing cost higher that is why because sram needs more chips than dram definitely there is a more chip are uh, using in sram that is why the cost will be higher so sram is used as a cache memory and has very fast access so where it is used it is used in a cache memory because it is very fast in access okay and i already told you about cache memory what is the characteristics of cache uh, sorry static ram it has long life okay because there is no need to refresh i already told you to make the data available till your computer is on in dram there is a mechanism is used to refresh your chip so that data is there but in static ram there is no need that is why it has a long life there is no need to refresh you don't need to refresh it it is faster it is used as a cache memory it is larger in size it is expensive because or i already told you it use more chips than dram and high power consumption it also use but means whenever a sram is getting executed then it will need a higher power okay now we are going to dynamic ram what does in dynamic ram dram dram unlike sram must be continuously refreshed in order to maintain the data main sir aap se pehle hi keh chuki hu ki iske andar स्टार्टिंग रैम में तो जरूरत नहीं पड़ती बट डी रैम में आपको अपना डेटा मेंटेन करने के लिए बार बार उसे रिफ्रेश करना पड़ता है सो दैट इज द मैकेनिज्म दैट इन डी रैम कंटिन्यूसली रिफ्रेशमेंट इज डन टू मेंटेन द डेटा दिस इज डन बाय प्लेसिंग द मेमोरी ऑन अ रिफ्रेश सर्किट देर इज अ सर्किट एडिशनल सर्किट इज यूज विच इज कॉल्ड अ रिफ्रेश सर्किट that rewrites the data several time whatever the data we already uh, stored it it will be rewrite again and again because in a nanosecond of time the data is stored in the dram get lost okay so to maintain it the refreshment mechanism is used to write the inward data again and again so the data will be stored there always until your power didn't get Uh, down okay several hundred times per second okay so you can see that in a second in a per second it refresh 100 times okay at least 100 times dram is used for most system because it is cheap okay we already told you that static ram is expensive but dram is cheap and small in size static ram is large in size but dynamic ram is small in size okay please keep remember all these points these points only if you remember then you can be able to answer any any objective type of question because you know the working of the memory okay what has the it has the characteristic what it has the advantages if you know all these thing that you will be able to give any question any objective question whatever come from you okay that is why i am going to explain you first what is the processor how it will work then after that i will make a mcq for you okay but if you know thoroughly go through my this lecture then you will be able to answer any any objective question okay so please guys uh, keep concentrate on my this lecture and please write down all these things the, all these small things because these uh, using these small thing your objective type question will be made okay 
ऑल डी रैम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ स्मॉल मेमोरी सेल्स सो आपका जो डी रैम है वो कैसे बनता है स्मॉल मेमोरी सेल्स को यूज करके बनता है विच आर कंपोज ऑफ वन कैपेसिटर लुक इन एस रैम दे हाउ मेनी थिंग्स यूज इन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एस रैम देर इज नीड ऑफ सिक्स ट्रांजिस्टर बट इन डी रैम How DRAM is composed? It has one capacitor and one transistor. Okay, this is the big difference. Keep remember these things, please, guys. Now we are coming to our characteristics. First characteristic, it has short data lifetime. I already told you to maintain the data. We need a refreshment technique. Okay. Next point is need to be refreshed continuously. Okay. Already told you why so. And slower as compared to SRAM, definitely to maintain the refreshment uh, criteria, uh, a special circuit is included there also. So it is much slower than your SRAM. Okay, used as a RAM, it is used as a RAM, lesser in size, but its size क्या होता है? Less होता है, less expensive. It comes महंगा होता है. It use less power consumption. Static RAM use high power consumption, but in uh, DRAM, DRAM use less power consumption. Keep note down all these things. Now we came to our last memory type, main memory type. It is ROM. ROM ROM for form is full form is read only memory. ROM stands for read only memory. Main mem uh, the memory which uh, we can only read but cannot write. In RAM, we can. In RAM, we can read, we can write also. Okay, but in ROM, we cannot write anything. If we cannot write anything, that why we don't ROM. The question is arise. Then if we don't, we are not allowed to write anything. Then why we use ROM? The answer is that then whenever you start your computer, your laptop, it takes some time. Okay, you need uh, if you seen that it takes some time because it is loading some files, some program which is used to start your computer. It takes some seconds, but it takes times. Okay, and those files always needed whenever you start your computer. So these files. This program always stored in your RAM, and it is write down by your manufacturer, and they plugged it into your computer, into your laptop. And whenever you start your computer, whenever you start your laptop, these program, these uh, instruction get executed automatically. Okay, so you never read it on it. So, so RAM basically uses over there. Okay, so in uh, ROM is read only memory, so you cannot write. You can only read. This type of memory is non-variable. Why so? Because you never read it. Oh, sorry, write it. Anything else is then how you know that it is going to be lost. Okay, whatever the data is stored on it, always be there. Whenever you start your co computer or not. Okay. So this type of memory is a non-volatile. The information is stored permanently. Whatever the information is stored in the ROM is stored permanently in such memory during manufacture. I already told you who stored the that instruction and program. Your manufacturer. Okay. A, a ROM stores such instruction that are required to start a computer. I already told you that. Whatever the instruction, whatever the program is needed to start your computer is always stored in your ROM. This operation is referred to as bootstrap. इसको हम क्या बोलते हैं इस operation को bootstrap. Okay? Please go through all these points very very sharply. Okay? Now, ROM chips are not only used in the computer but also used in your other electronic items like washing machine and microwave so you never say that rom only used in your computer or laptop it is also used in your electronic item which is automatic now your washing machine your microwave they are all automatic your fridge okay they are all automatic so some instruction are there, are there na in your uh, 
microwave in your washing machine so where the, these instruction are stored these all instruction is stored in rom and your manufacturer fitted it in your microwave in your uh, washing machine automatic washing machine and it will work by reading all this instruction okay now going to the advantage of rom what is the advantage is it is non volatile in nature क्या है ये नाशवान नहीं है जो भी डेटा है वो इसके अंदर क्या रहेगा स्टोर रहेगा नेक्स्ट दिस कैन नॉट बी एक्सीडेंटली चेंज आप इसे एक्सीडेंटली चेंज नहीं कर सकते नेक्स्ट चीपर देन रैम इट इज चीपर देन रैम एंड इजी टू टेस्ट आप इसकी टेस्टिंग कर सकते हैं एक्चुअली आप नहीं कर सकते द मैन्युफैक्चर हु कंस्ट्रक्टेड इट ओनली दैट वन पर्सन कैन टेस्ट ऑन इट ओके यू कॉन्ट इवन थिंक टू टेस्ट ऑन इट ओके Now more reliable that RAMs. It is more reliable. Why so? Because it is non-volatile. No, no data is going to be modified. So it is more reliable than RAM. Next advantage: these are static and do not require refreshing. Okay, I already told you what is the static means and dynamic means. Okay, so now simple line that it is static and do not re require refreshing. Last point. it contents are always known and can be verified it's yeah, actually these are the basic instruction basic uh, data basic program which need by any computer any laptop any electrical device so it is a known data and can be verified okay now these are the following types of rom basically there are four or five type of rom style first is am rom please note down the full form of rom am rom sorry it is masked rom what is it mean the very first rom it is a very first rom were hardwired device hard what is the hardwired device actually whatever the instruction you know that i am going to give 2 plus 2 to the computer it will give you answer 4 how it does work this by giving this symbol it uh, automatically did a uh, addition how does work because all instruction whatever we are going to give is already fed up to your computer okay so how this instruction is constructed it is constructed by two method one is hardwired and next is programmer in hardwire there is a chips use every chips has a different instruction okay by using that chips the uh, computer can perform their work means for addition it have a say uh, a one chip for subtraction it has a another chip for division it has a next chip okay and the, all these chips are constructed in your sorry uh, built in in your computer so whatever the instruction you give it will do because the chips are inserted in your laptop okay so what does it mean the very first rom which are hardwired what is i already told you what is hardwired the instruction are in the form of chips okay that contained as pre program all chips are pre program set of data or instruction hmm next point these kind of roms are known as mass rom which are inexpensive so m rom is inexpensive now we are going to our next rom which is p rom what does it mean programmable read only memory okay please write down that what is the meaning of p rom programmable read only memory first point of p rom p rom is read only memory okay we all know ki that uh, rom is a read only memory that can be modified only by a user do not consider that you can modify it actually the manufacturer who make a rom definitely it will need that rom because it is all making by using you are making one thing instructions we are making a uh, program and you will need to uh, verify it if that one program is verified it is good working well then only you will make it okay and that one program is now going to um, store in your uh, laptop so your ma manufacturer need p rom okay because they can modify at least one okay at least need at at most 
only once okay only once by a user it can be modified okay it can be modified but only once hmm? the user buys a blank rom and enters the desired content using a p rom program i already told you there is not possibility to write anything in rom but in pre rom you can write a data in that now this one p rom rom become a rom because now funds are right there is no uh, uh, option to write it on again okay next point it can be programmed only once and it is not erasable whatever data you fed on that rom is never be erasable okay it is going to be permanent now we are going to our next rom it is called eprom what is the meaning of eprom erasable programmable read only memory what does it mean means you can erase whatever the program you are going to be stored on this basically this erom and eeprom is used for rnd you know now what is the meaning of rnd means testing purpose okay whatever the program you are making is working or not it is not decided so you need to program it again and again to make it a error free okay so if you buy a pre rom pre rom kind of rom then when once you write on it you cannot be able to erase it so now the tester use eprom or eeprom because they are able to erase it so now we are going to understand the first line the eprom can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light which light which method uh, using which method using which method you can erase a data from eprom ultraviolet light keep Pro, uh, write on it. Please make this point highlighted for a duration or up to 40 minutes. Means when the ultraviolet light is placed on the data up to uh, 40 minutes, the data get lost. Okay, get erased. Usually an EEPROM eraser. What is the device used to erase that thing? EEPROM eraser eraser achieve this function. Okay. Now we are going to EEPROM. What is the meaning of EEPROM? Electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory. Most of the times in FCQ, there are question asked what is the meaning of EEPROM. Okay. If you know the full form, only then you can select the right one option. Please, people, humble request to you. Please for, uh, write down all these meanings okay and thoroughly watch my this video then i am going to say that 100 percent you will be able to give any questions answer which come from the memory part okay no one uh, nothing is come from outside from this i am covering all all things from the memory part okay so please people my humble request to you please go through this video Write down all these points and if you have find any problem on any point, then you can ask to me. You can comment on my this video. I will definitely tell you again to you. Okay. In your words, whether it is in Hindi or whether you want it is in the English. Okay. The EEPROM is programmed and erased electrically. EEPROM ko kya kya sakta hai? programmed hai aur usko aap erase kar sakte you can erase electrically it can be erased and reprogrammed kya kar sakte it can be erased and reprogrammed about 10000 type 10000 times you can erase you can reprogram the, uh, the instruction in eprom so you can think think that how many times you can do a modification in your rom both erasing and programming take about 4 to 10 milliseconds. How much time it will take to write or erase our data? 4 to 10 milliseconds. In EEPROM, any location can be selectively erased and programmed. Means this is your EEPROM. I already told you there is a cell and you want a data which is stored in that one cell and you want to delete only that one data. So you can do it. Okay. 
in EEPROM you can erase any selected area. EEPROM can be erased by one byte at a time. Okay. So how it erase byte by byte. Okay. Rather than erasing the entire chip. In your EEPROM entire chip will be erased. Okay. Whatever the data is stored in the uh, EEPROM chip it will be deleted all. Okay. But in EEPROM a data will be erased byte by byte. So the there is no op, uh, option is available to erase data entirely at a one class. Okay. Hence the process of reprogramming is flexible but slow. So aapke reprogramming kya hai? It is flexible hai, but it is a slow process. Okay. So thank this is the end of our lecture. Here I completed all the primary storage parts, their characteristics, their advantages, their types, how many types of them. So I cover all of these things. If you find any problem in my video, in any part of in my video, then you do comment. I will explain it to you. If you didn't understand it in English, my Hindi uh, subscriber, then please do comment that ma'am, हमें ये समझ में नहीं आया कि EEPROM क्या होता है, अगेन समझा दीजे, या ROM क्या होता है, हमें समझा दीजे, I will definitely give you a brief knowledge in Hindi also, okay? So please, now friends, first of all, thoroughly watch my previous one which is process and memory video, then only watch this one video, then the whole thing will be clear to you very nicely and if you like our channel if you like our video then please subscribe to uh, our channel in YouTube and whatever the topic you want which I will cover for you please tell me I will definitely make a video on that one and if you find any problem in my this uh, lecture in any topic then please do comment also I will definitely tell you that what is this is mean again okay so people this is the end of our channel please subscribe to our channel till then enjoy have a nice day